Hello everyone out there, hope you're doing wonderful today. And I did see a comment that had some upvotes before wanting some Fox, so I'm gonna try and bring in some Fox soon too. But of course we got Falco, we've got Marth, we've got whatever the wild world of Unranked has for us. Anyway, we're gonna get into it and I do hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Oh, so close, so close. You almost made the honk in. All right, we got a Fox Falco set from Fox's side this time, playing against Mordecai. And of course, we're going to be using these platforms. Falco wants to shoot lasers on the ground. That's fine. Don't care. Going to push the Falco away. And you're going to notice um, we can still attack right into him, but just from an angle where he can't laser us. And when he's jumping like that into us, we can just uh, pressure. And now we're back to platforms, getting us out of pressure here. Falco's going to double jump out of stun. That's okay. Oh, almost got that. So, what am I kind of doing against this Falco? I'm making sure I'm staying high. I'm staying above where he can directly hit me. And then if I do come in, and I came in at kind of a bad spot, he was under the platform. There's our double jump. So now, how can you see the Falco's play has changed? The Falco now wants to play vertically himself. This is okay with me. Yeah, and there's not too much Falco can do there. So when you corner Falco, just put out your back air. There's really not much he can do. We're just going to take that edge because Falco's a little too far away. But then we're going to kind of mess up our re-grab and uh, we're going to yeet. That's okay. Catch Falco out of the air. Thought we were going to get our double jump again. So Falco again trying to move away a lot when I'm close. Wants to reset. Wants to put that laser out. We're just going to try and shoot past him a little bit. And also rolling a lot when I come in. And SDI out. Notice we move side to side with our, our DI so we can make sure we get out. We just... Get up attack, make sure we push the Falco off the stage. So you can see the pace slowed down when the other player wanted it to slow down. They used the top platform, but we're still able to come in at angles that we really want. So again, every time I jump in, if I'm on that farther away spacing, I'm going to be in trouble. So again, I attack from too far away. If I'm making it too obvious, even Falco can react when I come in. So again, attack from too far away, made it obvious. So this is all on me. So look how they just retreat to the platform. They know that um, they don't want to deal with me right here. But we're just going to chase them down. Even if Falco recovers with double jump downer, he's not really going to be able to live there. We'd be glad to take that trade at this percent. Falco coming in off of uh, respawn. Notice we, we go for a run and shine a little bit. So again, now Falco really wants this stock. You can see how matches can um, steamroll on pressure because of stuff like this. Push Falco to the corner. Has no jump. Again, we go high with this area when we come in, get right over him. It's a tough spot to be in. Thought the Falco was going to be going for a bit of a double jump there. Uh, didn't end up panning out. That's okay, though. We just go for the edge at the last second just to kind of call the Falco out a little bit just for fun. Uh, but you can kind of see, once we stopped giving the Falco two of the main ways that Fox can get punished, attacking him when he's on the platform and running in from really far away, everything can work out a little better for us. If the Falco wants to play safe, wants to stay under the platform, then we just take our time. We get over him on the platform or we get right in front of the platform and then we pressure. And you can see when Falco does have to move backward or he wants to get out of those situations where he's pressured, 
you just full hop over him. He no longer can move backward. He's got to deal with it. Then the Falco would start rolling right away. Would start double jumping right away. These things are much more punishable um, than just moving back under a platform. So then we can call that out. So hopefully you guys can see the influence of platforms even for Falco, but you can also see the strength of them for Fox. Um, and also how the first stock can matter a whole lot, like uh, in that uh, second game on Pokemon Stadium. GG's Mordecai, thank you for playing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this educational Fox set. Thanos from Fortnite. All right, we're getting into um, a Fox Sheik game here. And we're gonna be making sure that we pressure the Sheik out. We make sure we pressure her landings and we don't try to shield right uh, where she can uh, grab us. And notice that I'm not doing like long, complicated pressure on this uh, Sheik. Oops, I'm supposed to be back here. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a double jump. So I do a shine, then I move off of it, right? So I don't stay on top of the Sheik. I, uh, I'm always doing a little bit of hitting and running. Will they try to attack immediately? I'm trying to gain some information. So this is the low percent game. So I'm trying to make sure what I can get what I can get here. Now Sheik has more percent, so I'm gonna try and use that to my advantage. Notice I've been doing full hops for my approaches. There are no platforms to break uh, any of these. We pull back to pressure the Sheik in. And this is just a straightforward get on the stage of Smash. If she did do a type of a B shorten, we could uh, get punished, but we're okay. Pull back again. Sheik wants to come in when we're um, fading back. So a lot of, you can use the thing that uh, Sheik and Peaches use against you if you want. Well, well I kind of just messed that up. That was a good drift. You saw the Sheik drifted in a lot, then drifted back out. So you can all, even with though she doesn't have the strongest drift, you still use it to your favor. And you can also see, you can wave shine Sheik across the stage for a punish, but if she SDI is behind you, you have to change up what you're doing. Now we're gonna be on a smaller stage. Sheik's gonna be able to pressure me out easier, but her, her jump's gonna get interrupted by platforms. I waited a little bit for the back air just to do, just so she could drop a little bit lower. You never know when it might change things up. So she went for the full hop there because she doesn't want to jump short up and get stuck on the platform. Oh, a little bit of slide off action. We did it. We overshot a little bit just to see if she would. Um, oh, went for a shine. Go for the little slide off or just run off the platform here but we faded back so we are going to get eliminated could have gone for a drill might have uh, been able to stop sheik's move there i think i was still invincible or that might have worked sheik's beginning of up b is vulnerable sometimes you will see me try to hit that i think it's about 14 frames which is quite a lot at least in melee a lot of mileage from the sheik down smash by the edge Oh, I guess I kept holding down. Maybe they thought I was going to hit them, but I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> Notice we always set up for back air when our opponent is in the air. It's going to lead to a big punish for us. And that's going to be tough. Again, Sheik doesn't have the greatest aerial drift. Put her in the air, put out your up tilt or back air, and that's going to end up being a wrap for you. So you can see there are some different ways we approach Sheik. Sometimes we'd go in from high up, but if Sheik's going to start countering that with her up tilt, then we leave that alone. Then we start moving for a little bit more grounded approaches. We start faking coming in with our pullback on our full hop, and then we just start punishing the Sheik out. Um, and then when we have Sheik, we do re repeated wave shines, or um, we just launch Sheik with our grab and then usually go into up tilt, and then we nair sometimes just to make the Sheik uncertain about how to DI. Um, you can kind of see that once we, when Sheik has higher percent, we grab the edge, we get on the stage, we shine Sheik a few times, we hit the up smash, and that's going to be the kill. And then in the meantime, if Sheik is launched, up tilt and uh, back air are going to be really good. And then we can fake doing that and then get an up tilt, make Sheik jump or something, and up jump into our up tilt and fall into it and then we can go for a punish such as with up air from there but anyway 
Um, hopefully some of that stuff makes sense to you guys. Wanted to give a little bit more Fox content for the Fox players out there that were looking for this. And um, GG's to our Sheik opponent. Thank you for playing. Yeah, GG's Gale. 